Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen and thanks so much for stopping by my channel. So today I'm going to be making black bean salsa. So this is a really quick and easy appetizer if you're having a dinner party or if you want a nice light lunch. And when I have it for lunch, I usually have it with beet crackers and it goes really well. And because it's beans and it has protein, it's very filling. So stay tuned for my quick, easy and delicious black bean salsa recipe. I'm starting with one green onion and one clove of garlic and I'm cutting the garlic as finely as I can. I want the green onions cut pretty small as well so I'm slicing it down the middle. Then I'm chopping it up and putting them both into a bowl. This is one can of organic black beans that I've already drained. And one cup of diced tomatoes from a can that I've drained as much as I can. And I'm going to gently mix everything together. The black beans are pretty soft, so I don't want to mash them while I'm mixing. In a separate bowl, I'm adding one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and two tablespoons of lemon juice, and three tablespoons of olive oil. And then I'm whisking it all together. So I'm adding the vinaigrette to the beans mixture and I'm going to gently mix everything together. I'm covering this with cling wrap and I'm putting it in the fridge for about 15 minutes so that the beans get a chance to get marinated with the vinaigrette. 15 minutes has passed so I'm transferring everything into another bowl. Before this I did drain off some of the liquid that had settled in the bowl so it wouldn't get too mushy. I love green onions because it has a nice spicy but fresh flavor, so I'm adding a bit more on top, along with some grated cheddar cheese and feta. You can have this salsa with tortilla chips or flatbread, but I just love these beet chips that I bought from Costco, so that's what I'm having with it. So if you make this black bean salsa, let me know how it goes in the comments below. And if you like my meal ideas, don't forget to click on that like button and subscribe. Until next time, take care.